Here is a story of a young girl called Belita. She's a young girl who is a single orphan and was raised by her grandmother in Mrs. Compound. The little girl ended her education in grade 9 due to lack of funds that her grandmother was unable to pay for her school fees and none of her other family members was willing to help her. Days passed and things became tough for Belita and the grandmother to survive because poverty increased. They could spend days and nights without having a single meal. Belita thought of finding something to do. She tried all means possible to find employment, but she couldn't get one. As time passed, Belita's friend named Lillian came to visit her in Mrs. Compound. And she was not happy to see her friend in a bad situation, wearing old-fashioned clothes and begging for food. Lillian summoned her friend that there was a way of making money and she could buy whatsoever she wants in just a week. And it sounded interesting in the ears of Belita. Lillian introduced her friend to a sex business of which was a go-ahead to Belita since she had no option and she really wanted money. Lillian explained everything to her and one thing she made clear to Belita was to take precautions when doing the business and Belita promised her friend that she will always keep that in mind. Time came when Belita was connected to a sugar daddy and she was excited since it was her first time to get connected and she was given a thousand in two hours. And it was Christmas to Belita as she said to herself, I will now get myself new clothes and eat nice food. She then thanked her friend for connecting her to such a business. Belita's grandmother was surprised, seeing her child providing everything needed for their survival. She took keen interest in knowing what was happening to the grandchild. But unfortunately, she lied to her grandmother that she got employed by a certain company and she would be working in night shifts daily. And the grandmother just said to her, My grandchild, be careful. This world we are living in is dangerous. Years passed and the business was going well for Belita. As we all know that people involved in prostitution are most likely drunkards and Belita was not excluded. On a certain day, she got very excited and got drunk at the level that she could not manage to go back home but to spend the entire night away and the guy who was with her decided to take her to a lodge. Belita waking up in the morning finding herself naked lying on the floor and alone in the room she tried to recall what happened the last night but she couldn't remember anything. She only found money on the table she got dressed and went home but she wasn't feeling well. She wasn't feeling herself because of the heavy drinking she did the previous night. A month and some days passed Belita couldn't see her monthly periods. She became worried and decided to go for a checkup at the clinic but sadly she discovered that she was pregnant and she was HIV positive. Belita was confused because she never knew who the father of the child was. The young lady was stuck and had different voices in her mind telling her to abort the pregnancy. Belita decided to share her story with the friend but unfortunately she was not available to help her because it was out of hand. Belita never wanted to stop her business so she decided to abort the pregnancy and so she did but unfortunately it never worked well for her because during the process she lost a lot of blood. She became weak and a few days later Belita passed away. Wrong advice once adhered to brings about misery, poverty, communicable diseases, suicide and above all exploitation from person to person. 
it is wise to keep self by all means. Where empowerment becomes a challenge or are advised to seek for guidance from the church or social welfare offices near to where one lives. Sanson Bewe Studios, changing lives with the power of the screen.